Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing really well and keeping really, really safe. So in today's video, I really wanted to share with you my lockdown tips. And these are like my quarantine must have tips that I've picked up along the way. In the UK, we have been in lockdown since March. There's been three lockdowns so far and we have come out of them, but we are currently still in the third lockdown, which was put into place before Christmas. We have not been allowed to go out for exercise more than a daily basis. And we can only travel for essential items that would include food shopping. And it's been really difficult also to visit family because we're just not allowed. So. I thought I'd share with you my lockdown tips which are really helping me get through this and I can't wait till this third lockdown is officially over. So going into my very first tip, having a clear out or a sort out and decluttering can have significant benefits to your mental health and it can really just help in terms of reducing anxiety, reducing stress and also gaining a sense of confidence because I found that when I'm decluttering I'm just getting rid of things that I just don't use and I'm clearing that space for new and exciting items and it's getting into spring at the moment so last weekend I had like a nice big spring clean and it just made me feel so much better in myself and it made me feel like I had achieved something so I'm not sure about you guys but I really feel that cleaning is quite a therapeutic activity and it does give you that happy endorphin at the end of it so I have been really just enjoying decluttering and also selling things that I don't use on Facebook marketing and just getting some extra cash as well. The next thing that has just made me get through lockdown is just seeing my family and friends via Zoom or FaceTime or Skype or or any of those things and like just getting that interaction it's really hard I haven't seen family for so long now I haven't like hugged them so for me just having that time on Skype or FaceTime just to see my mum or my dad or somebody or my friends it does really make that difference and can really just help cheer up your day I also had a virtual wine tasting which was so fun and I definitely recommend it I set up a wine tasting event with my family Family and friends and honestly it was so so fun also been to a virtual baby shower and it was just so fun and it was so interactive and I definitely would recommend just getting together with family and friends just throwing some games in the mix and just having fun so what if you can't actually go and visit them we've got the technology nowadays and we're quite lucky that we've got things like zoom and facetime where we can just with a click of a button just see somebody's face so that has definitely been getting me through lockdown and another great thing that i've really enjoyed doing is just exploring different things that i wouldn't have done before lockdown. So I've been working from home every day and as I said, it's really difficult to go out for non-essential travel. So what I have been doing in my spare time is trying to keep busy and as busy as possible. I found quite a few museums in the UK have actually been opening their museums up for a virtual tour. And these are completely free to enter into and to look at. And I think that's just a great activity just to keep your mind mind active but also to learn new things. So there's quite a few museums that have opened themselves up including the British Museum, National Gallery and the Louvre and they have all introduced virtual tours and honestly it's such a great activity to do if you've got kids or even if you haven't got kids. It's such an exciting activity to do because you can really just learn quite a lot of things and they've got some really great shows on. So I visited the virtual tour of the British Museum and there were so many things that I could do there and they've got different activities and games to play as well. It's a great way just to lift your spirits and just distract your mind from the normal sort of like day-to-day -day lockdown life and just get out there and look at something different and interesting and I found it really really intuitive so I would definitely recommend it it's really easy to do just go on to Google 
search for the particular museum, log in, and then you can literally just tour around and it's really easy to do. It's just like Google Maps where you drop the person down and then you can like venture out wherever, left, right, backwards, forwards, and you can see what's in different rooms in the galleries. So that is one of my favorite things to do and it just passes your time so quickly. So before we go into a couple more items, if you're enjoying this video, please do click the subscribe button and the like button and also the notification bell so that you can get reminders of when I post. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Just going into the next two items, I found that meditation has just been really helping me through this whole process. Now, I was someone before lockdown, I just couldn't sit still. It was really hard to calm my active mind and meditation was one of those things that I just thought was just not for me. Since lockdown, I've actually done about 150 different me meditations and honestly saying that, it just makes me laugh because of the way I used to be. I do a sleep meditation, I also do a daily morning wake up meditation and then sometimes at lunch around 12 o'clock, I have a reminder on the app that does a little five minute calm routine and honestly i found that meditation has just really relaxed and calmed my mind and it's just helped me through this journey it just really helps you find peace with your mind and your body and just helps you de-stress at the end of the day or even during the day and it can really just change the way that you're thinking. So sometimes I found that if I'm having a really bad morning and everything's just not going right, if I do that midday, 12 o'clock, five minute meditation, it just helps my mind get into a different state of mind and it just throws out some positivity and it just helps me let go as well and like release any stress or tension or anxiety. So I found that it really does help and I use an app called Balance and I've been using it most days since lockdown and it has honestly really helped me so much. It's completely free to join so if you're thinking about doing meditation or if, you're, if you've just got an interest and you think it might be for you or even if you have no interest in meditation download the app balance and try it because it's really helped me go through lockdown and just relax my state of mind so it's just helped switch off from the current environment and everything that's going on and all the negativity and all the worries and all the stress and all the sort of like pain in you know like not seeing people and not being allowed to you know move freely through the world so it's just helped me, so I would definitely recommend that app. And last but not least, my favorite is just keeping active and fit. Now, throughout lockdown, I've gone through phases where I've been really, really good at exercising, really been on my A game, and then I think it got to just before Christmas where it kind of does go a little bit downhill because you're just, yeah, in, in the festivities of everything can, you know, I wanted to spend time with family as well and just relax. I have got back into fitness and I would say that staying active and fit is the greatest thing that you could do for your body and your mind just throughout lockdown and and otherwise. And it's just really good to have a little routine that you can start your day off every morning. And what I was doing was starting my day off every morning with a stretch and then I'd have like a hip workout. And because I teach Pilates, I teach as well. So it was a really good sort of like setup for me. And I found that it definitely did de-stress me. And I got into running a lot more. I did a half marathon a few years ago and I'd relaxed a little bit, but I really wanted to get into it. So I found that running was such a great way of just getting outside, having my daily outdoor activity and just improving my running skills and getting back into it and when you come back after that run you do feel like a sense of achievement and like you've really done good in terms of your health that day 
So I would definitely recommend trying to build a routine of exercising and it can even be like a five or 10 minute workout. You can even just set yourself a challenge of every day I'm gonna do 20 squats for 30 days and then build it up. It can just be a small little thing or if you're really new to exercise, it can even be something as simple as I'm gonna just go up and down the stairs 10 times in one go and then the next day try to do it 11 times and just challenge yourself and just set yourself goals and small goals that you can actually achieve. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed my tips and my tricks and I hope that you're all keeping really safe throughout lockdown and I hope that these are something that you can implement into your routine and that can really just help you in terms of getting through it. So thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button and thank you so much for your support. Mm -hmm.